GoTrax F1 is their latest low-cost folding electric bike. It's low on price, but it has surprisingly good performance for a cheap bike. So let's talk about some specifications and features. The GoTrax F1 has a 350 watt motor, 48 volt, 7.8 amp hour battery, 20 inch wheels with knobby tires, mechanical cable pulled disc brakes, and a single speed pedal driveline. It has a built in headlight and taillight, and it weighs in at 58 pounds. And it can operate as a pedal assist bike or throttle and has five pedal assist levels. The GoTrex F1 has a published range of 15 to 25 miles and a top speed of 20 miles per hour. Since this is a folding bike, let's start with the folding mechanism. It has a latch in the frame and a latch in the steering tube allowing those to fold. The seat can be lowered and the handlebar removed as well to make it smaller. The pedals also fold. The bike can be folded up into a 33 by 25 by 14 inch space. It's easy to fit in the back of an SUV when folded up. I'm sure that I could fit two side by side in my Explorer if I needed to with space to spare. With a weight of 58 pounds, it's not that light and it does take some strength to pick up and carry by yourself. So we did a range test with the GoTrex F1. We do the range test two times. Once using the, only the throttle and then once using pedal assist. With both cases, we ride with the bike at 15 miles per hour and use a 250 pound rider. The GoTrex F1 went 26.98 miles on pedal assist. Next, we tested it using throttle only. The GoTrex F1 went 7.86 miles using only the throttle. The published range for the F1 is only 15 to 25 miles. So this is one of the very few e-bikes where we have tested where the miles we got was actually more than the published number. We typically only get 40 to 60% of the published range numbers when we test the bikes. So getting the actual range number is really good and really unusual. Next, we took the GoTrex F1 for our standard hill climbing test. We go to a hill that's about a half mile long with 100 feet of elevation gain. It has a couple sections of 10% grade that are pretty steep along the way. We run this test twice, once with throttle only and a second time using pedal assist set at the maximum value. The GoTrex F1 took 2 minutes and 17 seconds to go up the hill using throttle only at an average speed of 13.96 miles per hour. The GoTrex took 2 minutes and 6 seconds to go up the hill using the maximum pedal assist at an average speed of 14.98 miles per hour. This performance was really impressive for a 350 watt motor powered bike. I fully expected this bike to be somewhere in the 3 to 4 minute range going up this hill and not close to 2 minutes. For reference, you know, the fastest bike we've ever tested did the hill in a little under two minutes, and that was basically with an average of 20 miles per hour up the entire hill. We tested the top speed of the GoTrax F1 using a GPS. The fastest we were able to get it to go using throttle or pedal assist was 18.16 miles per hour. The display on the bike did show it going 20 miles per hour, but the actual measured speed was only a little over 18. The bike handles and corners well for a small compact folding bike. It is easy to ride around people, it corners well. It is stable enough to ride comfortably at 20 miles per hour, though I wouldn't want to ride it much faster than that. The motor is mild enough that on startup, you aren't worried about running into things on takeoff if someone jumps out in front of you. So it's overall, it's a pretty good bike to ride around people and in small places. And it does cruise well up to 20 miles per hour, but again, it's it's a short wheelbase bike. It's not really meant to go really, really fast. So 20 miles per hour is about the fastest you comfortably want to go on it anyway. And with the um, knobby tires, it does handle the pavement and dirt roads pretty good. The bike has dull disc brakes. They're cable pull, not hydraulic. They're adequate to get you stopped, but they aren't super fast. They won't you know, leave you wondering if they're hydraulic or not. They're definitely cable pull from the stopping power. We did need to adjust the rear cable a little bit to make it a little bit more sensitive to get good performance out of it. And the brake pads did have some break in time. The first ride or two, they felt really weak, but after that, they felt more you know, okay. The bike has a black and white LCD display that displays basic information, such as the speed and the battery remaining. And the bottom row has a few different things it can show, such as two trip meters, the odometer, and the max speed you've gone. The bike has an easy to use three button controller on the left handlebar. The buttons are big enough you can easily operate them wearing winter cycling gloves. 
There's a plus minus button for changing the pedal assist level. And you get the headlights by pressing the plus button down for two seconds. There's a twist throttle on the right handlebar for throttle only mode. The tension feels just about right. It's not too tiring to hold the throttle twisted for an extended you know, battery killing ride. The seat is nice and wide and has good padding. I found it comfortable during the entire range test, which is the longest ride I've taken on the bike so far. The battery is removable, and this is maybe the most annoying part of this bike. You have to unlock it with the keyhole that's underneath the frame. There's a cable running over the battery keyhole, making it hard to insert the key blind. Then after inserting the key, it's difficult to get it to turn far enough to unlock the battery. Overall, this is my least favorite part about the bike. I just, I don't remove the battery often because it's just not easy to do. No assembly is required with the Gotrax F1. You just need to unpack it and remove the packing material. We did need to make an adjustment to the rear brake by adding more cable tension to get the feel right. The left crank bolt on our bike also came loose after about 25 miles of riding, so we stopped at a trail side repair station and tightened it up. It hasn't come loose again since then. Those are the only adjustments or any repairs we've needed to make on the bike so far. We recommend the GoTrax F1 for anyone who wants an easy to transport and store folding bike that doesn't want to spend a lot of money. It had more power and range than we would ever have guessed for its motor and battery, and it's small enough when folded to put almost anywhere. See links below to see where you can get one. Thanks for watching and please hit the like and subscribe if you found this helpful.